गुड डे चिल्ड्रेन साई राम एंड वेलकम बैक टू द जोग्रफी लेसन नंबर फाइव प्रेसिपिटेशन इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द एक्सोजेनेटिक प्रोसेस पार्ट टू इन विच वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंट एजेंट्स ऑफ वेदरिंग ओके डिफरेंट एजेंट्स थ्रू विच वेदरिंग टेक्स प्लेस ओके नाउ लेट्स लर्न अबाउट द नेक्स्ट दैट इज द प्रेसिपिटेशन Before we start with the precipitation, just have a look at this picture over here. What you can see in this picture? In this picture, we can see that the blades of grass are there, and on that blades we can see some drops of water. Now, what are these drops of water? Yes, by now you all must be knowing what are these drops of water. They are the dew drops. Now the question arises in your mind: If dew drops are formed over here like this. then from where does the water on the blades of grass come then from where these dew drops are coming the question arises like this correct now let's see the next picture yes this beautiful picture of snow snowy area in kashmir okay now during this time in kashmir people many people enjoy mainly the children they have various competition of snowman making and all okay and they enjoy a lot with this snow Okay, so now the question arises: Why isn't snow found in our surroundings also? If at all, if snow would have fallen in our surroundings also, we would also have enjoyed. Why doesn't it fall over here? So now the next one. You can see this picture. What is this showing? This is showing the rainfall. Okay, generally it rains mainly in June and September in our region. June to September in our region. now this is the time when agriculture activity takes place in our country correct now the question arises from where this rain drops are coming okay whatever rain is coming from where is the rain coming okay that is the question arising over here now the next picture see this picture this picture is showing you about in london there is a fog like this till the afternoons in winters Okay, till the afternoon we can find such type of fog in London. Now, now here this fog actually how is fog made? Because of the hot and the cold winds, the fog is made. Now the question arises: Why don't we have like fog like this? Okay, even we are having winters. Why we are not having fog like this? And why we are not having a fog till the afternoon in our in our places? Okay, so the question arises like this. Okay, now see the next uh, picture. Next picture is showing you some hailstones. The hailstones have destroyed the standing crops in the fields. Okay, now what? What? Uh, why does this hailstone destroy the standing crops in the fields? Because hailstones are very much big and heavy. They are large in size, and when they fall, they destroy the standing cro crops. Not only the standing crops, even life and property is destroyed. Because you can imagine. from the, the stones if they are falling from the sky what will happen same way this hail stones are also like stones which are falling from the atmosphere okay so here also we are having a question why don't we get hail stones frequently why rarely only we get hail stones so, so answer to all these questions which have arise because of this pictures over here we are going to learn in this lesson precipitation so let's start with our geographical explanation Now, as you all know, seventy point eight percent of the Earth's surface is full of water. Seventy point eight percent here means seventy one percent. Generally, whenever we talk about water, we say that seventy one percent of the Earth's surface is full of water. We have learned about it. We know about it. Okay, but this water which is there present on the Earth's surface is not at all evenly distributed. Okay, it is unevenly distributed. Somewhere it is too much. Somewhere it is too less. So much of an unevenness is there in the water distribution on the Earth's surface. In the above pictures, we have seen or experienced. What have we experienced? The different forms of condensation. In the first picture, we have learned that it is the dew drops. In the second picture, we have learned about the snowfall. In the third picture, about the rain. In the fourth picture, about the hails. Uh, then in the fifth picture we have learned uh, learned about the fog also so the various uh, types of condensation we have seen in the above pictures correct 
Now, why this takes, uh, why this condensation is taking place? Condensation mainly takes place because of the atmospheric changes which are taking place. If there is a change in the atmosphere or atmosphere, then the condensation also changes. Okay. For example, some places it is snowfall. Some places it is rainfall. Some places it is hailstone. While some places is having fog. Okay. So this condensation is changing in different places. Okay. Because of the atmospheric condition which is changing. Understood the geographical explanation about the pictures what we have learned, what we have seen above. Okay. Now let's continue with our lesson. That is precipitation. What is precipitation actually? The water that is evaporated due to the heat of the sun comes down in some or the other form. Whether it comes in solid form or whether it is coming in liquid form. But it is going to come back to the earth's surface. Okay. That is only called as precipitation. Water falls in the solid or liquid state from the clouds to the ground. This is called as precipitation. It can be either snow, hailstone, rainfall. These are the various forms of precipitation. Okay. Let's talk about some of the precipitation. First, we will talk about snow. As you all know, when the temperature in the atmosphere falls, that is below the freezing point. At what, at times, what happens? The temperature of a certain place. Okay. It falls down below the freezing point. Okay, so water vapor which has evaporated due to the heat of the sun maybe, it turns directly into snowflakes. It doesn't convert into water and all, it directly converts into snowflakes. And this is called as sublimation. What it is called as? Sublimation. Okay, so what is sublimation? The water vapor turns into snowflakes because of the freezing point at that level. This is called as sublimation. Now, precipitation in the form of solid particles. If the precipitation is taking place in the form of solid particles of snow, that is only called as snowfall. Okay? So, if anybody is asking you, what is snowfall? Precipitation in the form of solid particles of snow, that is only called as snowfall. Okay? Now, in high latitudinal and temperate region, high latitudinal, latitudinal here means latitudes, mainly the polar areas, and the temperate regions. Okay. What is temperate region? The region which receives. Which is having temperature not too high. Not too low. That is the temperate region. Correct. So at high latitudinal and temperate region. What happens to the snowfall? Snowfall occurs at the mean sea level. It takes place at the mean sea level. Okay. That mean sea level area only. The snowfall will take place. While if you talk, talk about the tropical areas where the temperature is high, in such places what happens? The places higher than the snow line altitude, there only the snowfall will take place. Okay? The places which are higher than the snow line altitude, there only the snowfall will take place. So in latitudinal and temperate region, the snowfall occurs at mean sea level. While if you the, see the tropical area, it, it occurs at the higher than the snow line altitude okay so that's all about snow now let's see the effects of the snow when a snowfall is taking place it is not always a good thing for good uh, happiness for the people who are staying over there okay it is a disadvantage also of having snowfall in places why what are the effects of the snowfall because snowfall is not like water which will fall on the earth, earth surface and it will flow off. No. It does not flow like water. Layers upon layers it gets accumulated in one place. And just because of this accumulation what happens? Transport and communication system collapses in that place. Okay. Transport system, communication system all collapses in such places. Okay. People have to protect themselves from frostbite. Okay, the people staying over there, they are not at all safe because of the snowfall. They have to protect themselves from the frostbite. Then the region gets water on melting of snow. That is another thing that the region is getting water on melting of the snow. So the, this, these are the effects of snowfall in the regions. 
yes now here is a fact do you know you have to know this fact that there is a difference between ice and snow there is a difference between ice and snow in areas located at higher altitude and higher latitude where the temperatures are below 0 degree celsius precipitation occurs in the form of snow and as you all know snow is friable and opaque also okay this snow accumulates in the form of layers on top of each other now because of the pressure from the upper layers the lower layers of the snow become homogeneous massive and transparent okay because of the pressure which is coming from the upper layers the lower layers of the snow become homogeneous massive and transparent now this massive transparent snow formed in such a way is called as ice when temperature drops below freezing point a layer of ice forms on the lake surface and this layer floats and this layer floats on the surface of the reservoir this ice is related to snowfall directly okay so this is the difference between snow and ice now the next precipitation we are going to talk is hail okay sometimes what happens just because of the heat of the sun the evaporation takes place okay the air becomes light in weight okay and it goes high up into the atmosphere at higher altitude the temperature reduces condensation takes place it forms water droplets at what at times what happens due to the vertical flow of air okay you all must be knowing air always moves in a horizontal direction but at times what happens due to the rotation of the earth the air moves in a upward direction that is a vertical direction so whatever rain droplets are formed due to condensation they are thrown up at higher altitude okay when they are thrown up at higher altitude they solidify to become hail stones okay they become solid to form hail stones as they are heavy now so they want cannot float in the atmosphere so they have to come down to the ground when they are ready to come down to the ground that time again because of the flow of air vertical flow of air again they are thrown up so again and again repeatedly they are taken upwards okay the upward flow of air temperature reduces and condensation takes place because of the upward movement of air these water droplets go to a high altitude and solidifies to form hail stones as they are heavy they fall to the ground but because of frequent upward flow of air they are repeatedly taken upwards again and again the hail stones are taken upwards now because of this what happens a new layer of snow encapsulates the hail okay again and because of the hail stones which are taken back again and again what happens a new layer of snow is formed over the hail and it becomes concentric layers okay it becomes more bigger in size okay and this hail which was smaller becomes larger in size now naturally this hail stones will not be able to remain in the atmosphere anymore so they come down due to the gravity of the earth these hail stones heavy hail stones fall rapidly due to gravity now because because they have become already heavy so they cannot remain in the atmosphere so they come down due to gravity of the earth we call this precipitation as hail showers and they come very rapidly with a force okay we call them as hail showers which are very much harmful i have told you already about that they are very much harmful to life and property as well as to the standing crops what are the effects crops get destroyed because of that loss of life and property you can imagine such big big stones concentric layers and they are falling down on the earth surface okay there is a loss of life and property now in india if we talk about the hail hails taking place in india it is mainly in the summer season 
okay hail occurs in summer season in india africa and in some part of south east asia also okay so these are the places where hail occurs that also in summer season hail do not occur in equatorial areas due to the heat okay hail hail stones do not take place in the equatorial areas due to the heat okay so only we are not getting hails frequently at times only we get the hails now hails does not occur in cold zones also where it is already cold okay and a snowfall is taking place in such places hail storm do take place does not occur in cold zones due to lack of upward flow of air okay why doesn't hail storm take place in cold region because of the upward lack of upward flow of air the air there is no upward flow of air okay so children you all must have understood the two types of precipitation what we have learned just now one was the snow and second one was the hail the remaining part of the lesson we will do in the next lecture till then thank you children